Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone, and do you collect chase pieces? I don't. Never have. Mainly because I can never find the damn things, and I just give up. It's like, meh, too hard, or they don't exist, it's a figment. But here we are with two of them in my filthy little mitts. These were very generous gifts from Andrew of Buffalo. He does not have a channel, so I can't direct you directly to his channel um, for a like and subscribe, but maybe he will start one and I'll return the favor. Um, speaking of returning the favors, I'm working very hard on returning the favor for these because in Australia, I've mentioned a few times before, when they're on offer on this little island, um, about a hundred bucks. But here today we have a couple of them for nothing, so to speak. Um, I was rolling this around in my hot little hands just before I turned the video camera on. Um, and I realized that there's more to this than I thought. It's got rubber tires. And we'll get to it in a second because I have been pondering whether or not to leave it on the card. Um, but I will... Uh, unbox them soon and then I got to thinking look at how far the Corvette has come over the decades this one is uh, 1979 copyright and obviously this one is current but um, I think they might have done a Corvette before this let me know in the comments um, if they did and to be honest as soon as I start putting my Corvettes away I'll stumble across something that should have been on camera other than this but for now we'll work with what we've got um, yeah let's crack it um, that's the back of the card if you're interested apologies up front if you are a collector of cards intact but here we go Matchbox Super Chase Corvette from this year but it's a 2020 Corvette and we'll do the Bronco straight afterwards Oops. unceremoniously ripped off the card oh wow so it's got a satin white it's not gloss funky funky wheels no opening parts because it is not a create uh, collector series or removing parts we'll get to those in a second and stock standard Base. but rubber treaded tires upmarket wheels and about 4,000 tempo passes very nice oh well it's out of the box now uh, I can show you the others um, this is a different casting but very modern this is a different casting also same as the blue and then you get into uh, what the super chase piece is actually of in blue and we've got we had a red one it's sort of not a deep red more of a more washed out red i don't think the super chase piece will be lost in the crowd because it does stand out quite nicely we had that one go to the back and of course we have the black one looking very intimidating and look at this here's a sign they think ahead this is from a different casting but this is from the collector series isn't it also with rubber ties yes they did yeah different Corvettes but number 21 number 22 what a lineup there's also a uh, Mattel Creations Corvette um, which I ducked I didn't bother with but um, now that I have all of these maybe I should have that's another 70th anniversary or 70 years of matchbox whatever you want to call it and of course there's a very long history of Corvettes and matchboxes in there. I won't 
show them all today. In fact, um, each time I went back to the drawers behind me um, in prep for this video, I kept on grabbing another handful of Corvettes and my inner voice was saying, for goodness sake, they've seen them, Tyrone, they've seen them. But uh, any excuse to show off a Corvette or two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they go on and on, don't they? And this guy's looking a bit lost up the back. Put him on the bed of stool, like that. Um, and of course, I gotta show off the same thing with black interior. I do like showing off the variants. I think everybody's got that one. That was the, the most common. Um, is that? Oh, then we get to the fancy ones. See, I've, I've got carried away now and I'm crowded the joint with Corvettes before I even get to the Bronco. So we'll step up the pace, speaking of pace, pop in there, and uh, I think that was the second iteration after the red one, wasn't it? So put in there, and then uh, different models, ragtop, different um, gradients of, of poshness, shall we say. Coca-Cola, if you're into it couple of specialty ones and we'll stop with this one here uh, that featured on something or other on a video I did right let's get to the chase super chase in the Bronco this is the second one um, Andrew sent me very generously the 2021 Ford Bronco uh, sometimes I have a, a stock of videos to line up and I just schedule them and I go about my humble business in life um, and the scheduling on YouTube dolls out the videos I want to show you um, on a timed basis it's all very efficient and uh, I can have a, a whole week to myself without making these videos um, but at the moment I was like yesterday I picked the box from Buffalo up from the post office and uh, I didn't have a video for this Sunday. Today's Saturday. This will go on Sunday, 2 a.m. Monday morning, Perth time, but Sunday for most of the audience. But um, quite often uh, I'll be starting to wonder what on earth I'm going to be doing a video about because I don't have one for the next slot. Um, and then something magical happens like a five kilo box from Buffalo and uh, in fact the post office lady whinged as she hoisted it over the counter at me I think she stumbled off to fill out a workers compensation form for a bad back but um, as I left the post office with a gleeful expression on my face, <laughs> not caring a hoot about the post office employee cut to the chase Tyrone Matchbox Super Chase 2021 Ford Bronco Finally, I can stop saying I don't collect chase pieces because now I have two of them, and now the condition, the tradition must continue. Same silky white as the Corvette. Things you don't notice through the plastic, and this one has upgraded wheels and tires on the base model. That is clearly the base base, but. Uh, what a wonderful thing. Again, several more uh, tempo passes than you'd normally get. So you get everything covered from badges to sponsors. The whole shebang, shall we say. Mm. Might have to move you back because I've foolishly cleared um, out of the table. I should have. Uh, stop the, the filming for a second to clear it but here we are in a pickle um will work sort of backwards from most recent if i can remember how they go this is the national parks version oh, line them up. That's the, oh they look good and uh actually we've already gone out the window uh that's moving parts or collectors moving parts because it doesn't have rubber wheels or rubber tires and that's a different model in the two door so we'll put him sort of off stage and I think that was the original wasn't it a couple of years back now 
2021. So it would have been 2022 if everything was tickety boo over there at Mattel. And in no particular order now because I really have got a bit hazy because of the, all the excitement. Same base um, in that lovely deep red. That can go next to the super chase piece and to round it off the worn livery um did they do a whole five pack or a nine pack of the worn i think it was a nine pack wasn't it i'll have to go back through the videos and, and uh, check it out again hmm amazing absolutely amazing yeah within the uh tonnage that arrived at the post office yesterday from buffalo there was um an extra little thing well there's a lot of extra little things um from one of them was from grim's garage um i'm not sure if i'm allowed to say his first name i know it i don't know if it's public so we'll call him grim's garage um big thank you to you sir for a pizza hut set from matchbox i've uh i'll do a video on that very soon um I'll leave a link down the bottom of that video for Grimm's Garage, but um, he's on YouTube. He does similar videos to mine, um, shows all sorts of things, not just Matchbox. And uh, that's where I, I get keyed into what auto world castings I'm desperate to get because um, they no longer sell them in Perth. They may restart doing it, but I haven't seen them for oh, six or eight months now. But uh, that's where I check out um, what I absolutely need from Auto World and uh, Greenlight as well, but mainly Auto World. Um, so yeah, I'll do a separate video on the Pizza Hut Matchbox set that came from Grimm's Garage, uh, and also there's a bunch of Peterbilts from Andrew of Buffalo, same as uh, the same fella that gave me these two, and uh, also well, there's a a large box sitting behind me in my studio here today um, and uh, I've got videos written all over them so I'll make them and show them as I go but uh, yeah fantastic I'll uh, have to put in a few extra pieces for the returning uh, package Andrew thank you very much for these fantastic pieces now I collect super chase pieces who knew like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.